Hello, welcome back. This is almost a continuation of the previous class. Today we shall see the surfaces that determine the success of your dentures. A complete denture has three surfaces. Each one has an epic story of its own. But today we shall just identify them and see why they are so important. So the surfaces are 1. Impression surface 2. Occlusal surface and 3. Polished surfaces We do not have a patient here so we can use a master cast to simulate a patient. So the first one, the impression surface is that portion of the denture that rests on the basal seat area of the patient. So this is the impression surface of the mandibular denture. This is going to be seated on this. So it goes without saying that if your dentures have to fit accurately, your impressions have to be 100% accurate. Coming to the next, that is the occlusal surface. The upper teeth comes in contact with the lower teeth at this particular surface. As I said earlier, there is a whole lot of science behind this which we will definitely go through at a later stage. All that is shining here is the polished surface of the denture. Now this is just not for cosmetic purpose. The importance of these surfaces were researched in detail by Sir Wilfred Fish. Before I try to explain his concept, let us try to understand the action of muscles on these surfaces. This is the polished surface of the denture, the buccal surface, the buccal flange. The buccal flange fills the buccal vestibule and we have the cheek right next to it. Clear? These are the posterior teeth and we will have the cheek draping over it. So the main muscle in the cheek that is the buccinator muscle when it contracts it is going to push against the surface. Clear? So if this surface was concave shaped, concave shaped, the action of the muscle it will come and rest here and the action of the muscle will result in seating of the denture rather than displacing it. Got it? Similarly, in the lower denture on the lingual flange, can you see that it's made less bulky and it's almost slightly concave here in these regions to accommodate the action of the tongue muscles. <laughs> now what is this map doing here? We have Kuwait on one side, Saudi Arabia on the other, and the area marked in stripes is a neutral zone. A zone of zero conflict where both forces of both countries share equal rights. Any excess breach into this by any of them is surely going to create havoc. No doubts about it, right? Now, we have a neutral zone like this in our very own oral cavity where the two powerful forces are constantly in action against each other from opposing directions. So, if our beautiful dentures has to survive this constant attack, it definitely has to lie in a zone where the forces from inside by the tongue and lips and cheeks from outside are neutral. This exactly is the neutral zone concept popularized by Fish. That is, for perfect harmony and zero conflict, the teeth and the polished surface of a denture should lie within this neutral zone. So that was in brief about the three surfaces of a complete denture, the impression surface, the occlusal surface and the polished surface. I shall be back again soon with my next class on anatomical landmarks. Until then, take care.